Hi, I'm Tanik Sims 2, but you can call me Tanny, and I wasn't expecting to make a follow-up video for this particular experiment, but risky risky wiggy wiggy, this is an emergency, or whatever Socrates said. <laughs> so a couple of months ago, I made a video where I merged several neighborhood backup folders together for ultimate hood corruption. If you haven't seen it already, I'd recommend you watch that first. But if you have seen it and just need a refresher, uh, the Frankenstein hoods, uh, especially Pleasant View, ended up in this um, <laughs> weird limbo state where they had simultaneously been reset to the beginning, yeah, also played through uh, because the scripted events didn't happen. And most notably, all the Sims in Sim State University got Thanos snapped. <laughs> uh, this comment on the first video explained why merging different iterations of the same neighborhood's folders uh, would result in corruption a lot better than I could. So it's from Cairo Multiverse. Um, they say, I think the reason merging files is bad is because the files from the backup folder will only replace files that have the same name and path as the files in the current folder. If you've played for a while and placed a bunch of lots and townies have been spawning, those may end up in new files generated by the game. Now you place down an older version of the neighbourhood which replaces all the files that share the old names, but the newly generated files still exist and are trying to reference information that used to exist in the files that have been replaced. Is basically what I was trying to say, <laughs> but they said it a lot better. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, while I knew I had messed both Pleasant View and Strange Town up severely, apart from the mass exodus that happened in Sim State University, everything seemed outwardly okay. Her checker didn't pick up anything untoward, and my initial poking around in SimPE proved just as fruitless. So even though I knew there were inevitably going to be a lot of problems like under the hood, I thought I couldn't access them until now. <laughs> Currently, I've been working on How Corrupt is Veronaville anyway. Uh, I promise I haven't abandoned it. Life has just not been my friend lately. And I opened up Pleasant View in SimPE because I wanted to know something that I swear is absolutely relevant to the Veronaville video. And when I opened up the Sim browser, it defaulted to the uneditable sims. So object NPCs, uh, dead sims, Bella Goth, the gang's all here. And I realised, oh this pleasant view is the Frankenstein one from that video from the merging experiment um, from back in May. And I thought, oh I should probably replace it. <laughs> should probably replace it with the original version for more reliable results. But anyway, um, I decided to keep scrolling, I went to the bottom and well, um, <laughs> I found them. <laughs> I found the university sims. <laughs> I just didn't think to check the sim browser at the time or the uneditable section to be specific because I had wrongly assumed they had been deleted or not even generated. I just didn't, it didn't cross my mind that they could have been yeeted into the default household. <laughs> and what caught my eye first was this guy called Corey Phillips. It says he's an adult, but from his appearance in his thumbnail he has white hair, so he has the appearance of an elder. So I thought that's a bit fishy, so I went into I opened him up, sounded like I was doing surgery on him. <laughs> yeah, I opened him up and sure enough, he's apparently an adult with zero days left. And I thought that was weird because from his appearance, he is an elder. But I kept looking through his file and I saw this. He has no aspiration. He aspires to nothing. He has no interests. He has no personality, no zodiac sign and no skills. He's basically pretty much in the same shape as a dead sim in Strange Town, to be honest. Um, and even weirder, I went into his actual character file to look at some stuff. Under behaviour constant, 
Uh, it comes up with which signature behaviors and in behavior function, um, I've got things like wander idle, which signature behaviors. So for some reason, he's also a witch, I think. <laughs> there was something I found that proved he is an elder or should be an elder. In the material definition, TXMT, we've got things like EM face, skin tone 4. So he should be an elder male, right? The weirdness doesn't stop here with Corey. He's not the only case. This is not isolated. So I think I went through the professors. But to really show you how weird this has gotten. So you can see the playables here. Ashley Pitts, Joshua Rubin, people like that who would usually be in the occupied lots that you go in and play. They're also in the default household now and they're adults. Apparently no for uni when really they should be. Yes, they are very uni. <laughs> I went into say Tiffany Sampson's file. She's an adult male. Why? <laughs> she too, no aspiration, no interest no personality, no zodiac, and no skills. Yeah, and here's a dormy, adult male, no aspiration, no interests, no personality. So I believe all of the sims who are in the default household, who would have been, you know, the normal uni sims, the dormies, the professors, the cheerleaders, um, coaches, everyone, NPCs, even the I think it's the Chinese delivery people, yeah. They are all adult men. Basically, their character files are, are in the same shape as Olive Spectre's victims. Let's get this random dormy, an adult male. What I'm imagining will happen here is that everything will get randomised. Uh, I think they will just randomise an aspiration, they'll randomise interest. I don't know for sure, we're gonna find out, of course, we are going in the game. And that's not all. <laughs> It's not just sims because you may have noticed <laughs> you may have noticed um these <gasps> these strays and i didn't really think anything of it because life stage adult i thought well well you know the strays that animals can be adult let's go for andy um he's an adult male too and he's a human <laughs> No aspiration, no personality, no zodiac. And what first caught my eye about the strays, I saw in one of their object datas, I was going through it. I can't remember why, but I was trying to find something with someone's character file and I accidentally went on a strays because I wasn't sure whose was which. And I saw here um, under object type, I saw it was person. And I looked at all the other options and I thought, okay, maybe, um, that's normal because there is no choice for an animal here. So I just thought maybe they are treated as people <laughs> by the object data standards. I'm not sure, but it wasn't until I saw it said they are human adult males. So something is not right, <laughs> to say the least. What I'm wondering is if they are all witches. No, no, they're not a witch either. And that's not all. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> If we go into Strange Town, it's the same problem. <laughs> We've got strays all in the default household who are all adult males, human adult males. And we've got some newly generated, uh, I guess, townies. Um, I'm assuming they're like garden club members. Let's look at this one, Tori Davison. An adult male, zero days remaining. No aspiration, no interest, no character, no personality, no skills. It's not good. <laughs> it's not looking good here. <laughs> so now I think what we need to do is we need to go in the game and have a look because needless to say, Pleasantview and Strange Town are not good. <laughs> they are not doing too well. Hi, so unfortunately um, the audio for the second part of this video got all garbled and it sounded like it was possessed, so I could not upload that. No amount of audacity cleaning helped. <laughs> so I'm really sorry I've had to do a voiceover. Uh, it's not ideal, but it's really my only choice. I'm sorry about 
that. <laughs> no idea why I'm in the goth household. I think I was just feeling a bit spooky. It fit the atmosphere of this experiment. Anyway, since Corey is the VIP of this video, he's the reason I'm making it, he's the reason I noticed everything, I thought it would be best if I brought him in first to have a look at him, <laughs> see what's going on there. Um, as you can see, he has no aspiration, so I was wrong about it possibly randomising. It's very similar to uh, Dead Sims and Strange Town, mostly, who don't have aspirations. It looks like that. And also, he starts in aspiration failure. His meter is right at the bottom, all red. And then at 6pm, it just randomly, like, went up again. I don't know what that's about. Um, no lifetime want, because obviously he has no aspiration, um, no skills, no job and there we go um he has a blank personality and I notice he is a cancer. I don't think this has been randomised. I think it is a case of simply not recognising the zodiac. I think uh, this personality, um, zero, <laughs> zero personality, I think it corresponds to cancer in the game's zodiac system. It's quite common for like dead sims in Strange Town with blank personalities and sims in Pleasantview like um, Bella Goth, I think. She has a blank personality and she's a cancer. I think it is just how it works in this game. And also, for some reason, the bar for fitness is totally at the top, uh, even though it's registering him as just the middle, the thin part. Interest actually did um, surprisingly randomise. Um, they're there. <laughs> We've got something at least. And of course, even though he has the appearance of an elder with his white hair, he is registered as an adult. And I couldn't really tell from his uh, animations, his gait, you know, if he had adult animations. So I thought it'd be more noticeable, all the problems, if we got a playable sim in. And so I chose Tiffany Sampson from Sim State University, whose character file was also just completely obliterated. <laughs> yeah, so it's the same problem with Tiffany. She has no aspiration, um, the exact same wants as Corey, and she's registered as an adult. Yeah, no skills, she's unemployed. Again, no personality, so her zodiac has been randomised as a cancer. Fitness bar is the same as Corey's. And her bio, surprisingly, is intact. I thought I'd check since she's a playable sim. She would have a bio, it's still there. It's probably the only thing that's really remained. <laughs> Interest did randomise, um, like Corey. No memories, which I'm assuming isn't correct either. I would assume she would have basic... Uh, sort of cast memories, especially pertaining to university, like, you know, the went to college memory. And here I wanted to test the voice. Unfortunately, I can't show the original audio. It's so awful. You're just gonna have to, like, trust me. <laughs> Put all your trust in me that, yes, they had adult male voices. Both of them did. <laughs> <laughs> This was the start of when it just went downhill. <laughs> oh, and I remembered in Simpy it was saying, you know, which signature behaviours. And so I thought, oh, I should check its inventory because I think witches have cauldrons in their inventory. And then I realised he was missing the aspiration rewards from free time. So I checked Cassandra, like, to say, like, wait, there should be something there. I realised something was missing. And I'm guessing it's because he has no aspiration, therefore he can't have aspiration rewards. And all that's in his inventory is the um, Renew You Porter Chug, the turn on, turn offs potion thing. So he didn't have a cauldron and I tried, you know, clicking on Tiffany to see if Corey had any like witch interactions. No, he didn't. And next I knew I needed to get a stray in. So I went right to the back and I just clicked on the first sort of stray name that I saw. <laughs> it's as I expected. Absolutely horrifying. <laughs> this stray dog, Jinx, is an adult male, a uh, human adult male. So its mesh is completely warped. Um, I'm sorry, I just hate it because they kept waving and even the ghosts were having object errors. They were just freaking out as well. Like Even the ghosts couldn't handle it. Invalid species errors. I got those so many times and it was just like, you think? Oh, look at the tongue. And look at it. Look at the tongue. Oh, it's terrifying. <laughs> Sorry, calipers, but this is Blightgate, like, 2.0.
<laughs> it's one thing to like see it on someone else's YouTube channel, to see it in videos, but when you see it in your own game, I don't know if I'm going to sleep for... Oh, look at it. I don't think I'm going to sleep ever again. <laughs> But yeah, um, basically it was the same problems, except they didn't even have turn-ons and offs, but um, it was the same problems. There was no aspiration, the same wants as Tiffany and Corey, no personality, no aspiration rewards. I really hate it when they wave. I'm running out of words to adequately describe my horror. <laughs> I'm trying to keep like my initial reactions as well. Oh, <laughs> so horrific. Oh, the way the arms just like twist when they're trying to, oh, I don't like it. Okay, now I got another one. I was trying to look for a cat, even though I knew it would be the same sort of problems. I wanted, you know, the variety, you know, spice it up a bit. <laughs> variety is the spice of life. But yeah, it was another dog. Yeah, invalid species. <laughs> Whose fault is that? Mine, because I merged the folders, but not the point. Look at them, they're like, levitating and their legs are backwards um their tongues are out the tails are like straight i don't like it so boots and jinx recognized each other more as dogs they had dog interactions i tried clicking on them um not surprisingly it didn't work and Corey kept getting this error well they all kept getting this one error that was slot number out of range and off the top of my head i can't tell you what that means i think the errors are because he is missing an aspiration but then i don't know why tiffany isn't getting as many errors but yeah definitely the stray sims <laughs> Stray pets, um, I mean, stray sims, they are sims apparently. <laughs> um, they were getting a lot of errors as well. I do eventually turn ball prop off. Yeah, I added the matchmaker, the newly generated matchmaker, just because I wanted to see how newly generated NPCs would function. Would they be normal? And they are, so just skip over that. She was as she should be. <laughs> Everything was intact. So I added another dog trying to look for a cat called Rags and <laughs> what has happened? Oh Rags, look at the portrait, <laughs> looks like a chicken, like a rotisserie chicken. <gasps> And goes without saying, all the problems were the same. <laughs> oh, and for Rags, um, he doesn't even have an aspiration level. <laughs> Some of them did, they had cold fish, um, which I think is maybe popularity rock bottom. Or romance, I'm not quite sure, I can't remember. But obviously they don't have an aspiration, but yeah, invalid species. Why are they thinking about Cassandra and kissing? That's not okay. Don has some competition. <laughs> Better watch out. Earth is about. I kept adding dogs trying to find a cat. So I just ended up with this like, this pack of Schrodinger's dog sims. <laughs> it's quite the experience. <laughs> and finally, I got a cat. Waggles. <laughs> <laughs> the way Waggle spawned um, and like joined with um, the dog's tail as if it couldn't get like any creepier it somehow managed to do that yeah and here I was attempting to turn bull prop off and I was like is it lagging because it's broken or is it lagging because there are just so many sims on the lot that's the fun part of um, this sort of thing. The, it's the fun part of corruption. It keeps you on your toes and it keeps you guessing. But yeah, waggled um, much of the same problems. Um, not really much to say. <laughs> I didn't know whether it was worth going into Strange Town to show you anything because the problems I imagine would have been the same. We would have had stray sim pets <laughs> we would have had sims who have the appearance of a female sim only to be recognized by the game as an adult male sim anyway moral of the story kids don't do this <laughs> don't merge neighborhood backups um don't let folders 
replace, don't let them be overwritten. Remove the fold, the neighborhood folder entirely before you put a backup in. Or say you want the clean template, so remove the folder that's already there. Maybe put it somewhere else, you don't have to delete it, you can just drag it somewhere else and then put the clean template in. Uh, don't let them merge, don't let them overwrite. <laughs> Marissa just lectured Tiffany. <laughs> oh, and um, because Tiffany fulfilled a fear, her wants all be rolled and it showed that she is recognising the stray sims as, you know, pets. Um, she had, you know, wants to get them pet jobs, get a food dish, and she feared being barked at or chased by the stray sims. <laughs> so that was interesting. As for their character files, the only sim with a worst character file, like the worst character file I have ever scene is Canute Footers. They are just marginally better than Canute Footers character files, but they are almost, you know, on his level. So needless to say, their character files by doing this were just completely shredded. Um, I think it's irreversible, to be honest. I just really feel like there's no amount of hood checker, there's no amount of simpy that could probably you know, rectify this. You could probably change, you know, everything in SimPE, but I think if this does happen to you, I think the best option is restoring from backup. You could attempt to fix it, I just don't know if it would be worth it. <laughs> I also assumed in the first video that the corruption wouldn't be immediately noticeable. Um, I mean, I guess I was right because I didn't immediately notice all this stuff, as I said, but here it is. <laughs> um, yeah, again, I'm really sorry that I had to do a voiceover this time. I'm hoping I'll fix that problem. It's not ideal, as I said, it's not what I wanted to do, but I really had no choice in this. I hope you understand. <laughs> Most of all, I hope this was somewhat useful. <laughs> Uh, entertaining, I hope. I just wanted to, you know, do a quick update, a, you know, like a shorter video, hopefully. And I just wanted this up as soon as possible because as soon as I like discovered all this, I was like running over to Twitter. Like I was posting like constantly, like this has happened. I've just noticed this. This has happened. <laughs> I was both excited and panicked and I knew I had to do this. I had to investigate. I had to make this video. That being said, I really hope you enjoyed <laughs> as much as you can with these videos. I'm not sure. Just, I'm gonna let this scene speak for itself, I think. So to make it official, please remember to stay safe, be good, and most of all, happy simming. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good weekend, a good week, <laughs> a good yeah, <laughs> be good. <laughs> Wait, I said that. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.